Hello everyone and welcome to our channel on daily earthquakes. Before we go too long or too deep into looking at different records from different dates, records from earthquakes that happen anywhere along the planet, I wanted to make this video to show you a little bit about wave propagation and primarily what makes the records that I will be showing you in a lot of those uh, videos concerning earthquakes in our planet. So I would like to use this animation program called Seismic Wave from Irish, very interesting. Uh, application. I will put the link at the bottom of the comments. And let's start by looking at the 2004 Sumatra quake. Very important quake, historic earthquake, which produced a very big tsunami that killed a lot of people, unfortunately. But what I want you to look at is the event from the point of view of seismic wave propagation. So when the rupture occurs, both, usually both P and S wave, which are the primary waves produced by any movement inside the Earth, will propagate in all directions. Let's look at the whole simulation and then we will come back to the discussion. Now, the important thing that you have to look at is that the Earth has a structure that, by the way, has been described because and using seismology and seismic records. The wave will encounter things like the surface, the cross, and by the way, again, look how the cross is so thin that it doesn't show at this scale of the interior of the Earth. Okay, but the earth will be very important, the cross, because it will channelize a lot of this energy, producing what we call surface wave. Now, this wave will propagate again in all directions, and the, some of them will go inside the earth, okay, and will start encountering the discontinuity between things like the mantle and the outer core. Those discontinuities will produce reflection of energy, but a lot of energy will also be transmitted. That will keep moving, moving. Look how the reflections will come back to the surface. Transmissions will try to get deeper into the earth, producing different events uh, seismologists understand all that nomenclature. I'm not going to go into that in this particular video, but every letter means something. Uh, PK is a, a wave, a P wave that transmitted into the outer core, and the K is because it's another compressional wave. Very important, S wave do not propagate in the outer core, and that is how we explain the possibility of a liquid type outer core. But because we're talking about wave propagation, let's look at wave. So all of this is occurring inside the Earth, but the Earth crust will act as a channel of energy and will produce what we call surface 
waves primarily. This will propagate along the surface of the earth. These are yellow circles here represented uh, the surface wave. Now look at the body wave, P and S and reflections up, uh, appear as a single line because they're pulses, very short pulses of energy. Surface wave are long train of wave. Okay, now what I want you again to see, we have different stations recording the event. Some are close, remember, wave take time to get to travel so the closest you are the fastest they arrive the farther you are it will take longer time this is important because things like the location of the earthquake will come from analyzing the difference it takes from a p wave to an s wave to arrive to different stations along the earth but for example, look at this close by station. Surface wave already went through and we start to record these long wave points. Okay. The fastest P wave arrived first, here showing as a P and PP, which is a reflection in the surface. The S and SS will arrive later. The difference between these two P and S will be the clue to try to localize the epicenters, okay? The higher event surface wave will give us an approximation if we use Ricard magnitude, we may use the surface wave amplitude. If we use the moment magnitude, it's a different calculation. We're not going to get into all of that. I don't want to make this a, a seismological course. I just want you to see how waves propagate inside the Earth, generating different pulses reflected from different interfaces, and also the surface wave that would travel along the Earth, along the surface of the Earth primarily, producing this upper wave. And I want to show you that because we're going to be looking at a lot of these records from daily earthquakes. And we will see and gather some information from that type of uh, seismogram. Another point I want to mention, these surface wave take longer, they're slower. And uh, we have a lot of information also about the energy produced inside the earth crust primarily you see we we will be talking about the depth of an earthquake usually the depth is calculated by measuring the difference between the direct p arrival and the reflected from the surface p to p wave that will give you the depth of the focus of the earthquake. But if the depth is shallow, it will always imply higher surface wave energy. And that usually implies more damage to structures on the surface. Okay? So with this, and looking at the whole records, Let's just conclude this small video. Again, my videos are real time like, so no Hollywood style. Just showing you the information I want to transmit. And I hope this will help you in the next videos showing real daily earthquakes. For now, saludos por el mundo.